All right, OBS is recording, and it also says it also claims we're live. But if I will it's check it's to make sure. Before, I'll check to make sure nothing's like you know being how it usually sometimes is, and then another stream where I'm talking to myself. Okay, I even see. Though that, even, though, even though that would probably be an improvement over the usual streams where people have to put up with my voice. Everything's good. A little straight thing they've beat with it. Uh, where are we? That's true. Just gonna let this banger tune play while you while you type that out. Oh yeah. yeah. Apparently I should be keeping an eye on the stands channel tonight, because Peach was talking in there last stream, but I didn't notice. Peach is always watching. Is it true, Peach? Are you always watching? Peach is always watching. Where am I going? And then your server, and I think that's the last one. Oh, Every single also, server I did. Yeah, there's, there's also the Resident Evil server. Yeah, I already did that. Alright, all the stream things are sent out. Alright, and Peach has been pinged, just because. Hello, Mal! What are you doing, little rat? She's, she wants to join us for the murder investigation. Uh, which, which one of these is later? Uh, pro pro probably this one that's, that's on the 22nd instead of the 21st. Yeah, this sounds the sound of the layer date. Gosh, that guy. I don't think we're doing it. I think we're returning to another room, right? I, th I think he had more to say. Speaking of, who is this guy? Marvin Grossberg, age 64, a veteran defense attorney, and Mia's mentor. Uh, who is Mia again? The victim. Chief attorney and fit. Oh, FA and Co. Law Offices, and an excellent defense lawyer. Alright, and who's this, who's this pink cat girl? April May, an eyewitness to the events, testifies that she saw M Maya commit the murder. Who, who's, who's Maya? Is that, is that, uh, is that this, this person here? Um, that's, that's not that. That's, that's the edgelord. Um, Miles Edgeworth, because he's an edgelord. Age 24, a gifted prosecutor, and a ruthless man who do anything to get a guilty verdict. Oh, I see, and this must be the Maya he's trying to get convicted, right? No, it's Dick. Because he has a penis. <laughs> Age 30, detective of the local precinct, in charge uh, of the initial investigation. How do you know he has one of those? Did you check? I looked. <laughs> um, Maya Fay, age 17, the defendant, Maya's little sister, and a spirit ma medium in training. Oh, so, oh, I see. So Maya is Maya's little sister. Yes. Alright. Oh, get the fuck off! Fucking whore. Uh, hey, Grossberg, what do you think of this phone? I'm very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. He cares about Grossberg. nothing. Hey, Grossberg, what do you think of my badge? I'm very sorry, but I've got blah 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 mm. Hey Grossberg, what do you think about art? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, let's take a look at this ugly ass painting. Oh, I guess we already did. Ooh, a mahogany desk. What? Oh. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished in a deep luster. Ah, I see. So if you polish wood enough, it makes it horny. Alright, let's let's blow this joint. Hmm. Well, 
I guess. Bro, get out oh, I, I remember now. Maya told us to go ask this guy to defend her because apparently we're not good enough. And then he said, fuck no. I hope that bitch fries. So let's go give her the bad news. Woohoo! Burn, burn, burn! September 6th, 3.42 p.m. Detention Center. Prisoner's room. Maya's in detention. Na 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 na. Hiya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? I've seen pictures of that fat fuck. <laughs> Ellipsis. You, you, you don't mean he refused to help? Erp. Ellipsis. Sad ellipsis. I see. I've been abandoned then. Well, good luck, oh. Maya. That's it. Hey, Maya, don't you have any family left besides your dead sister? Your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. I don't know where my mother is. Well don't know, so she could still be alive? Nah. Nah. Your mother. Oh. Your mommy. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, in and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? Nani? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer. She left, oh. she left the mountain. What fucking loser? Imagine. I'm a lawyer. So you live by yourself? Yes, as far as this game is concerned. I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by herself on, on the mountain? All by herself? Alone? Your mother's enemy. Your mother's enemy. Thank you. So, who was the man who, um, ruined your mother? Oh, my. About, about 15 years ago, there was an unusual <laughs> murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Hang on one sec. Well, wait, they didn't use a spear medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? Did it hurt? Did your brain go burr? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. What? The police's consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. She became gay. She's actually a lesbian and ran off with her woman. That's what actually happened. I see. Interesting theory. I mean, it could be true. And I think she would. 
you haven't even met the woman. You don't even know what she looks like. I don't, but I think everyone should run off with a gay lover. At least once. Sad ellipsis. Wait. Excuse me, White? That was his name and race. My sister told me. What? Um. White? Did I say what? White? There we go. I can speak. White? Hmm? Oh, hey, Peach. Hey, Peach. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Ellipsis. 4 p.m. Time's up. Well, time for me to time for me to head home. Good luck, Maya. So what should I do? I should save my game. That's probably a good idea. Do well, I just leave her? Go home? Oh, sorry. I, re I read your line. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> The Fed Maya. Maya? Maya. I can speak, yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so go home. <laughs> oh! There's nothing left for me here to do. She'll be better off with a state appointed lawyer. I'm just dumb. I think I better get home for now. Goodbye. Don't die. It was a few days later when I found out how the story ended. She died. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. I'll probably never meet her again. And that's not it. After, not after that firing squad was done with her. Did I make the right choice? Will I ever know? Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me! No, you dumb fuck. Not! I can't let that happen! <laughs> I'm not leaving her until she takes me as her lawyer, because I'm Phoenix Wright, and I'm always right! <laughs> I made up my mind! <laughs> I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Get wrecked. What? Why? <laughs> why? Well? I don't know why. I can't abandon you. Correct answer. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. A backstory? Backstory? It was, it was just yesterday. <laughs> Why did I become a lawyer in the first place, you ask? Well... Gambling, gambling debts. Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. That's not true, Peach. We're your friends. Maya, let me tell you something. I won't ban you. You can count on me, like one, two, three. Okay, let's see. You have two arms and two legs, and that makes four. Counting. That's so kind of you. Sad ellipsis. Stop, Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Well! Let's fight this one and get you out of here. Let's go fight that security guard. He can't take both of us. Right, thank you. I didn't almost read your line, though. No. Ooh, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. Because I'm Phoenix Wright, and I made it right. One last question. You are innocent, right? Oh no, I'm guilty AF. Yes. Yes. Because I trust you. <laughs> so, you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what's next? There's something that's been bugging me. There's this bug on my shoulder. 
just what was inside that strange woman's drawer. What, what's inside that strange woman's drawers? Uh, that, that's, pri that's private, Phoenix. Also, probably not appropriate when you should be investigating the murder. He's investigating something else, though. It was when I tried to look in a drawer that she got all defensive. It's very strange. Peculiar. Most women like it when I look in their drawers. <laughs> there has to be something in there! <laughs> okay, can we go back to... back, back to drawer? Drawer land? We, pro we probably should give this to her. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, by the way, sorry I beat your high score on Tetris. Oh, oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Absolutely not. Ellipsis. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Just imagine if that just imagine if that was Jolly Rancher li listening to a recording of their last conversation they had with you. That'd be sad. Aw, oh, sad music. We, we probably we probably should have given that given that back to her before agreeing to take her case. Too late now. Oh well. Alright. Time to go and look in the drawer and see if the lady's not home. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... He does not have a profile yet. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. Does he have a profile now? Yes, he does. Bellboy. Age 26, while well, he has an amazing name. Bow Boy at the Gatewater Hotel. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, uh, crapper. <laughs> if you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. In in her room, don't yeah. Get the, don't get too much come on the bed sheets now. Come, come around <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Wait, not. No. Hey. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I am embarrassing myself? It's because you're an embarrassment, right? Kind of is. He may be always right, but he's also always wrong. Wait. Now is my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Gah! Gah! You came back quick! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. Y, a blue corp. Where have I heard that name before? Walter, hmm. Walter White. Blue corp is his meth. Blue blue corp is his meth cooking organization. Sounds about right. White. That was his name and also his race. My sister told me. <gasps> White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Ruined her, I tell oh you! My. Ruined her! Could it have been a coincidence? Yeah, probably. Open the drawer. Right. Open the drawer. Open the here. drawer. No, nothing left open the drawer! <laughs> open the drawer! Okay, I'll open the door. The drawer! Okay, I'll open the door. Is there even a door in this room? Ah, uh, a see a still seen painting. Wait, should that be? Still life. Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. 
Paint the painting is in the live, man. What, what do you think this is? Beauty and the Beast? Hang on one sec. I'm just gonna go and take out my contacts. Okay. I returned. Am I reading something? Yes. The flowers are fake. Or am I reading time of death? What am I reading? Whatever you want. The flowers are fake. I have expected. Just like Miss May's tits. Just like Miss May's tits. How do we know they're fake? I know some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Oh, Mel. Okay. What could be in the drawer? Okay, I think we're Funny. I think we're back done here. No, nothing nothing left nothing left here catches oh. my eye. The drawer. Mel, stop it. Mel, Mel, I'm trying to get done. Mel's on the way. Anyway. There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What? Undies. What do we have here? Miss Undies. May's panties. Ah, uh, wiretap. Oh, wait, no. This is just a this is just a remote for her vibrator. <laughs> it probably is. Whoa, a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? She's it's a god. Wiretap added to the court records. Wiretap found in Miss May's hotel room. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know. All right. Stop it, Mel. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For my sake. I'll get to the woman to this woman's bomb. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> Did you just freak out? Oh, bellboy. Oh wait, yeah, I am her. Oh, bellboy, still there? Uh oh, time to scram! Meat don't fail me now! I look forward to Tangoing with you. I know it's Tangoing, but Tangoing. He's saying it like that now. With you tomorrow, Miss May. In court! Because I'm a lawyer! Okay, but I don't think they have dances very often in the courthouse. To be continued. Wow, fucking edge. We love it when it says to be continuant. Would you like to say? At this point? Yes. Okay, so we're not saving. <laughs> you know that. 
September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom no. One. Who's that roughly bitch? Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Where the hell is Edgeworth? I Edgeworth. I better not show you any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in a instant. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Edward, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Finn, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. Objection! She did not do it! The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the, ca the facts of the case, Your Honor. Shut up, right? I see. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Edwards. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Mr. Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer of the scene, Detective Gumshoe. He's a Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession in the court. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found the, by the window here, and the cause of and the cause of death. Loss of blood be, due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the Tinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon. Even in a girl's hands, sir. I'm very sexist. Wow. <laughs> wow. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. But we know it's a clock! Fucking idiots don't know nothing. We know it's a clock that can talk! Floor plans Floor added plan. to the court record. The Mercy, the Fay and Co. Law Offices. Now, Detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? <laughs> yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Hard? Detect hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about your hard evidence. Witness testimony. Maya Fay's arrest. Oh, God. How's this gonna be wrong? As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Mm -hmm. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a we had a pink witness account describing her. The pink witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. That's it. Oh god. Hmm. The very moment you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. I already don't- I don't know what's wrong. Cross-examine what? Cross There's always something wrong. Nuts. There's definitely something wrong. I couldn't see a single con contradiction, but that's testimony. I could. You already played the game! Whoosh. Smack! Hey, Maya just threw something at me. That's very rude, Maya. He, he just throws it back. What's this? What's Hello? this? Hello? What's this? A woo-woo? Well, my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness testimony. She hit the bricks and went home. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. Probably. It works lots of times. Let's do it. Yeah, I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. So, sorry. Something the matter? No. 
Your Honor, I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Cross-examine these nuts. Okay, just call them and everything. Alright, so what So will this be press? So is this press? Is that how you press, press, press. Alright, press, press, press. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, Pickle, don't play dumb. You know who. Call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene, pal. Hmm, okay. I pressed. I pressed? Pass? I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Let's keep pressing. Right. Please continue. No, you're right. I'm dumb. There were two people there already. Dressed! Up to how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm. Right, I'd say it was about three minutes. That, that's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. That's how I got there before the killer got away. Indeed. So, tell us who the two people you found on the scene were. Yes, sir! The defendant, by a, Ms. Baya Faye, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I mean, that's right, so... <laughs> I mean, we could press it, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. Are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With your funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like... Like suspicious people at a crime scene. Damn. Well, he does have a point about her. Me, on the other hand, my spiky hair is flawless and I am attractive. She is pretty unmistakable. Should pick my points to press with a little more care. Whoa. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fink. Press. <laughs> Why is that? What's your reason? Why? We had a witness account describing her. Hold on just one second. Y yeah? If I heard correctly. If I heard. You said you arrested her because you had hard evidence. She did it, correct? Huh? D did I say that? Me? I heard it. you say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in pink claim was hard evidence? W what? It may isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. W well, I guess she is pretty pink. Very pink. Completely pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um... Hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes! Whoa! <coughs> yeah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you uh, about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's have your testimony again. Hard evidence. Hard, hard. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was clearly written in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. I, 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 just, I just wondered if the judge had a profile yet. He doesn't. Yeah. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. You know, I've got a PhD. A pretty hard dick. <laughs> hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y your Honor, why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? 
Oh, that's very important. Uh, uh, I don't. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor. So, try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross examination. Cross examination. PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what looks suspicious to you here? I'm just thinking about what happened. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Memo. Memo written in front of the little little Okay. Maya, Maya written in blood. Mm -hmm. blood. Blood with Mia's. Mm -hmm. Mia, Mia, had a Mia had a bloody finger. Can we ask him for proof? Like, can I press the lab test results thing? Because he doesn't technically have the lab results with him. What kind of tests were these again? Well, what kind? Um, well, I hear they take the, um, little, little bits in the blood, the, uh, homo, homo, homo goblin. Hermogoblins, hobgoblins, hobgoblins, hermogoblins. I refuse to testify in this matter, pal. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes, this, yes, this is quite, this was quite clear. They continue with your testimony. D thanks, pal. I mean, Mister Your Honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah. I look forward to your next evaluation. As should you. Oh. Oh. That was a mess. Right, where was I? Alright, bloody finger. She she uh wrote the killer's name before she died. I don't know. Yeah. How she know, how does he know it's the killer's name? <laughs> like is there evidence? Yeah, but I don't know. That doesn't indicate killer. How, hmm. how does it not, though? I mean, it could indicate another message. So. Well, I, I guess we should press him on that. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think to press on. Alright, go. Go through it. Oh, that's his own testament. Sorry. Okay, there has to be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's find it. Let's look at the evidence. Alright, so, What's the that? attorney's badge. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Does that, does that prove that- does that prove it? What? Does the attorney's bad con does the attorney's badge contradict contradict anything? No. Okay, do do these floor plans? I don't think so. Okay, does this receipt contradict anything? I don't think so. Does this wiretap contradict anything? We don't not yet. Does the finger contradict anything? I don't think so. Do these glass shards contradict anything? What else is there? There's the... Maya's cell phone, in which she had a conversation, where where Maya, where Maya said, I'm going to murder you at, at, uh, t at 9 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then, and then there's the attorney's badge. Oh, also, also this autopsy report. I said her death was instantaneous. So she, so she could have written it then. If her death was instantaneous, she wouldn't have been able to write the note. All right. Right. So we're pressing. So we're pressing this statement. Yeah, because if the death was instantaneous, that makes sense. Detective Gumshoe. You got 
We get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the killer's name. Sure, it happens all the time in books and in the movies. This isn't a movie, detective. Oof. Oof. Let's talk about reality, shall we? Oh, I guess I haven't heard of many cases. Oh. Don't find it a little odd that the victim would write down the name. Especially the name of her own sister. Uh, yeah, actually, you've got a point, pal. Objection. Stop right there. The witness's opinion on the matter is irrelevant. The facts are clear. The victim wrote down the name of the accused. That's not true. Because if she died instantaneously, she wouldn't be able to write the fucking name! The victim told us the name of her killer. Can we present the evidence? Order, order. That didn't go so well. Can we present the evidence? That, that's right, what he said. Will presenting evidence will do shit? I don't know. Okay. The thing with gumshoe. I don't know if it's gonna go off the instantaneous thing. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. The victim who? Mia Fey, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Now she accused. Now she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. I th don't you mean Mia Fey? <laughs> <laughs> That's really what you're saying. Oh, it's not going what? off the. What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks, now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could? You have it backwards, detective. The backwards. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. Immediately. What? No butting your way out of this one, detective. Order. Order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Objection! Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did he retain that autopsy, uh, obtain that autopsy report? Oh, when? Um, the day after the murder, was it? It was the day after the murder. The prosecutor. Prosecution's point being that autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. For what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Don't ask why. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. <laughs> no way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did okay, have time hey, to hey, write Maya. Say again? Fucking hate Edgeworth. <laughs> what, Edgeworth? And this is only his first scene. So that is all. Fuck off, I Edgeworth. See. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. You fucking whore. Ow, the edge. I should have known you had something up your sleeve. Hey, I'm proud. I found some evidence. That's all I'm proud about. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? I want to fuck you. You're a I'm sham. a You're sham. A, the detective's a sham. Oh, I'm a sham. The detective's a sham. The detective's a sham. Aw, don't be mean to gumshoe. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham! How could you give me a faulty report? Oh, I, I thought... 
Detective Gumshoe. Er, I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. No, don't be mean to Gumshoe. Hey, I, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next time. What? 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 So, your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Un understood. The court accepts the evidence. Autopsy report updated in the court record. Oh, that's good. No, I have fucking faulty report. Died from a blow by a blunt object. We have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Don't bother asking why the why a second autopsy why a second autopsy was needed. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion. Yes. Darn! This isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent cat girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness Miss April May take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent. Witness your name, please. April May! At your service, Link. Oh, probably black box. Order. An introduction to should not require any reaction from the crowd. <laughs> the witness will refrain from wanton winking. Ah, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. She already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Including mine! Jokey, jokey. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Gee! Like, in my hotel room? Tee <laughs> hee! I checked in right after lunch! And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. Law Office. That's right, big boy! Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witnesses account. It was like 9 at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Oh, this, this is good. If she thinks she's a cat girl and she thinks Maya's a mouse. That means he's going to try to hunt her. Then the woman, like, to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and... And he hit her! Then the woman with the long hair... She kinda slumped. Slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy. Wink! Hmm. Well, Your Honor? I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any- Oh, wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm, like her titties, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Fey's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you! Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? No thanks. Yes, I'm doing it, bitch.
I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination and find absolutely nothing. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Some nuts. Gl- probably a glowing eyeball. Probably right between her breasts that, o- that only opens after she does her special attack. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Alright, what are we pressing? It was nine, she looked out her window. Evidence! So, I won't look at the evidence. So I, won't look at, I won't look at the evidence. Evidence, 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 evidence. Okay, okay, so you want me to load the game, right? No, evidence! Okay, so you want me to save the game, right? I mean, saving is a bad idea, but evidence. Okay, so we're going to press the statement, right? One sec. I'll talk to you. Alright. Alright, here you go. Have a look at the attorney's badge. No, the autopsy report. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Have a look at the floor plans. No! Alright, no floor plans. Have, 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 have a look at the thinker. We fucking know the thinker. We already know him from the last case. Alright, here you go. Autopsy. Have a look at the receipt. Autopsy report, Mikey. <laughs> oh, there's no time. Okay. There was, there was, but then the autopsy report got updated. Okay, cell phone. I want to read the conversation again. All right, all of us was the night before. Yeah, I know, but it says at the end. The time. Next page. Page after that. Okay, so 9 o'clock is the right time. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Sitting in the defendant's chair, interesting. How could she see that from her window, though? Yeah. Hold it. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know. She she has a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? Okay? With a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bullish. It was, Your Honor. it was Phoenix. It was Phoenix. He's right. I question the testimony. Hold on a minute. The testimony stinks. Watch out, I'm wrong. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. I don't think she saw nothing, but I think she couldn't have seen it as much as she did. That's the only thing I think. Alright, so are you going to say she didn't see anything, or are you going to say that she's lying? Because Those she's... Are your only options. But I don't think she's lying. I think she just maybe didn't see as much as she did. I guess she's lying? I don't know. Are you telling the truth? Do you really... Did you really see the defendant? Erp. 
If you're right, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. As if. Okay. If you have really witnessed my client, Maya, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Oh, oh twitch. Twitch. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. What a fashion disaster, am I right, Your Honor? And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness of testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. Testimony's like Bing so bong. totally Bing bogus, bong. dude. But, but. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I can testify. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you have to say about this, Miss May? Get a load of this. Arar, what are you trying to say, you meanie lawyer? Oh no, she's going full cat girl. I, I saw I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Okay, here's your word of the day. Trifling. Okay. Sure, trifling. I, I don't know the exact definition, but I'm pretty sure it means, like, insignificant. Yeah. That's what Ms. I thought. Mayor, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing from your testimony. Oh, sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Link. Your testimony again, if you will. Damn, I almost had her. Witness testimony. Witnesses account. I did see everything! I did! The victim, the woman, dodged the first attacker, ran off to the right! The girl in the hippie clothes ran after her! And she hit her with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That weapon? That weapon. That clock? Kind of statue clock? The thinker, I think? Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? You bimbo. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Cross I would like to. I want to look at the floor plan. Alright. To... the right. Okay, I want to read what she said. Alright, she did see him. She swears she, sees, she saw everything. Dodge Mia the first attack. Mia dodged right. and went to the right. Maya ran after her. Hit, then she hit her. With the with the with the thinker clock. Previous testimony might have been what Edgeworth wanted to say. So this was a testimony in her own words. I'm depressed and squeeze the truth out of her. Figuratively, of course. The literal squeezing comes later. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what looks suspicious to you? Seeing everything, because she didn't see everything, because she wouldn't have been able to see it from where she was too. That's the most suspicious thing, honestly. Alright, do you, do you want to present your t the attorney's badge on this statement? No, I just want to press her on that. Okay. So, you saw me then, too. Of course! 
Did you really? I remember that spiky hair anywhere. Spiky. spiky. The witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Aw, was I a bad girl? I'm sorry. Cat girl. Very well. Continue. What else looks suspicious? This one? This is hard. You wanna just press everything? Um, does pressing get rid of the health bar though? Or is that only presenting evidence? You you only lose you only lose health if if the you only lose you only have the possibility of losing health if the health bar is flashing. Oh, okay. Um Press it. Everything? Yeah. Alright. It's just a slide to the right. Is that right as if you're right? Or you look from the hotel? As you look from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Jesus, that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> right! It was my right hand, right? That means it was there left. So that's wrong? Satisfied, Mr. Wright? Please continue. Well, like, consider the floor plans. Okay, no. Yeah, so, like, a April, April is saying that that Mia dodged to April's left, uh, April's right, which would be towards the door. Gotcha. Satisfied, Mr. Wright? Please continue. I'm not satisfied. How convenient for you to remember our hippie clothes. That's what you, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up like a bun. It looked tasty, I wanted to eat it. <sighs> what happened there? Present. Where did this weapon come from? He picked it up from the desk! I see. What sort of weapon was it? That that clock, um, the Kai statue you think? A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well well, don't Look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. We only think it's a statue right now. No, I have a feeling I'm on to something now. Okay, uh, evidence is the clock. Because we only think it's, you know, it's a statue right now. Well, I don't know. Th this, this description checks out with what she's saying. The thinker, the murder weapon, looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock. Made by Larry. But, like. She, she, okay. Like, I, I'm not seeing a contradiction here. Like, what? Wh why? Why would April knowing that the that the statue is a clock be a contradiction? Because I mean, the court doesn't know it's a clock. All right. Then so. Should, maybe I'm wrong. Be, no, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Well, you have any? You have any better ideas? What's the other evidence I can present? Because this is the right statement, boys. What's the other evidence I can present? All the evidence. The attorney's badge, the floor plan, the receipt, the wiretap, the glass shards, Maya's phone, the autopsy report, the attorney's badge, the floor plans, the attorney's badge. <laughs> I don't think it's the floor plan. 
I can't think of anything besides a flanker. So I guess we're doing a flanker, even if it's wrong. We're at full health anyway, so YOLO! Miss May. What you said just now was quite... revealing. Oh, <laughs> Reveal? Oh, you like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Naughty, Mr. Lawyer. You just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder! Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, uh, er... Objection! The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murders with these questions before. <laughs> well, murder -er, Mr. Wright. Well, only once. Yeah. Ellipsis. Trivial. Additional ellipses. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Phew, that was close. We stopped me there. The trial will be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That? That? Because... I heard it? Yes, I heard it! Save the time! So, you've been to the law office as a Faye and Co. No! Hey, I didn't say that! Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room, hee <laughs> hee! Sure, Jam. The law office is a Faye and Co. where the murder took place is very close it's to the It's not that close! Shut she up, can... Edward, you fucking cunt. She could <gasps> easily have heard the clock. No! Unless you had, like, Spider-Man hearing, no, you fucking couldn't. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, I'm fucking not. No, Your Honor. I can't get up now. I'm not satisfied because... Well, it is a clock, so I guess it. If it was nine, would it have rung at nine? I can't remember how the clock works. Well, I can't in, remember. The first, in the first case, using it as a, as a murder weapon made it go off. So it couldn't have rung. Well, you're you're saying that you're saying you were you were saying that that it's suspicious because the hotel is far enough is far enough from the offices that she shouldn't have been able to hear it from that distance. All right, I'll, I'll I'll say she couldn't have heard it. Yeah, I just hope it's not wrong. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard a clock go off in the building next door. Objection! You have proof that she could not. Shut the fuck up, Edgeworth! You fucking fucking whore. Uh. Amateurs, amateurs. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Then I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard it. The prosecution denies your request. W what? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed. Direction sustained. Okay. I'm to switch directions. Quick! Ready to proceed, Mr. Wright? 
No, Your Honor. Can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because. Well, so we can go. Yeah. Option, so. It couldn't have run. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. Inconceivable. Because I don't know why. Do you want to review the evidence? Yes. Okay. So here's the here's the clock. Didn't the call between Maya and Mia say that it was broken? I don't know. Let's check. Cause she put the evidence inside of it. Yeah, what's up? Okay. You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue of the thinker. And it tells you the time. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't working right now. Okay, good. There oh, is. It's not working? Ooh. That's lame. There is. Down there. There is. I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. I put some papers inside of the stand. Papers? Is that the evidence, then? I'll leave that one up to your imagination. Nine. Okay. It's broken. And we have evidence for this. Alright, you wanna go with it's broken? It's broken. Alright, we're going with it's broken. I think it's broken. The clock's busted. You, you have the evidence. No, you're supposed to just look at it, Your Honor. But he has the evidence. I don't understand that. But we have the evidence. It's on the phone! What? Why doesn't he just present the evidence? Can we present the evidence? Well, the, well, the options were it's empty, it's busted, or uh, or its batteries are dead. So was it's it's empty? Made more sense. I mean, it's broken, it's empty, or kind of like the same things, but whatever. Just look, Your Honor. Please examine the clock. Hmm. Oh. See anything interesting, Your Honor? Mia Fey's nudes are in here. Well, I'm not sure I would call this broken, but I doubt it could ring with all these with all these nudes. This clock is missing its clock. It's quite full of Mia Fey's nudes. Oh, can I hear them? No, they're, they're only they're only for me, Mr. Wright. Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. F fat? <laughs> well, Miss May? Shut the fuck up, Edgework. Shut the fuck up. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty somehow. Fucking fuck. He knew. I'm afraid you forgot one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clock work removed? I have evidence! I have evidence! If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. But I have evidence. But I have evidence. Can we present the evidence? That's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been empty after she heard it. No, that is exactly but I have what happened, Your Honor. No, but I have evidence. Well, mm. Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yes. Yes, I can. I have evidence. Yes. Ho, 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 ho. Impossible, of course. No, I have evidence. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? I love that we do. Ooh, I put my pants. Well, I was listening. <laughs> and now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The proof? <laughs> Present his attorney badge. <laughs> All right. No, please don't actually. No, 
if this ruins everything, I'm going to be so angry. <laughs> what do you say to that? The, the health bar was not on screen. We're probably fine. What? I don't really understand what that's supposed to mean. I don't really understand either. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I think I blew it. Mr. Wright, please refrain from fl from flippant presentations of evidence in the future. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm just a comedian. The cell phone. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is this floor plan. No, the cell phone. It's Let's this not receipt. do this. Let's it's not this do this. Tap. No. It's, it's the statue itself. Cell phone, cell phone, it's, cell phone. It's, it's these glass shards. What? Cell phone. It's this autopsy report. Oh, yes. Cell phone, cell phone. It's my turning badge again. Oh my god. Can you imagine? They just be like, get the fuck out of the court. Take a look get at a load this. That's a very cute cell phone. Woohoo! You have a girly phone! Oh, well, wait, wait. This isn't my phone. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation he had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! Order in the court. The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps it had the gumshoe overlooked it. Hmm? The good detectives... The good detective better remember he's up for evaluations. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. I'm not. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't bring me the gumshoe. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Aw, I should prob- Ah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 1st, 9.47 a.m. Your Honor. I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Oh, now she's a cowgirl. Moo, moo, moo. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? Well, uh, well, 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 isn't it obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many. No, you didn't. Bitch, because it was made by someone else. Oops, I forgot, wink. No, bitch. That was just made for someone. Sense. Listen, Judge, you fucking saw the case the other day where it was made by someone else. What are you getting on with? I mean, in the, in in his honor's defense, Larry didn't mention that he that, that he made the clock himself during the case. That that was like after the trial. The I do have a have defense. Any, yes. Does the defense Objection. have any objections, Mr. Wright? Objections. Nah, Objections. Nah, that checks out. Objection. 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 The witness claims she has seen it before. But that directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court, you dumb bitch. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Is this I think bloody we just receipt? Have to, I think we just have to provide the it's actual this, thing, right? Yeah. It's I don't this know. It's, it's I think it's a wire badge time. again. <laughs> I am a... I am attorney. Alright, so are we going with the statue or the wiretap? 
the statue. I mean, why would it be the wiretap? It's simple. The clock was never in any store. Ever. Because Larry's too stupid to sell it. Well, what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Dun, because dun, it was dun. also used as, because it was also used as a bludgeoning weapon in a murder. Apparently really good for murder. I impossible is sold in stores. What? Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh damn! That's thick. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> excuse is not on sale today. <laughs> wow, he's fucking roasting her. Oh! <laughs> oh shit, she's going Super Saiyan! <laughs> oh, he pissed. What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter anyway. Okay? She did, and she should die for it. Die! Oh, oh my. Whoa, 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 Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Huh. Huh. Uh, oh. Okay, she's gone back to, she's gone back to suppressing her power level. Uh, uh, uh. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did, tee -hee. Her, I like how her boobs just jiggle. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I guess yeah, I gotta, did, tee -hee. Yeah, you gotta shake what? the wins a little in court. Get the judge on your side. The jugglers. <laughs> this is scary. Miss May, let me ask, what, what is your cup size? Tell me, oh, no. how did you know the weapon was a clock? Grr. This is a very attractive angle. I think so as well. Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on her cup size? Okay, this is it. Yes, your honor. Well, let me explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You held it you in held your hand it. when you murdered Miss Mia Fey. Well, she didn't... She didn't murder him, though. You have heard about it. Oh. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. This is correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she could have known the finger was a clock. I mean, she could have held it. Not... And I can show you the proof. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness has heard of the murder weapon was a clock. Um, it's this blood that... receipt that... It's this blood <laughs> receipt. At first glance, it looks like it says Maya in blood, but if you look closer, it's actually written... The, the, the letters forming Maya are actually very small print letters that is detailing the fact that mi that Miss April May was wiretapping the victim's phones. Wiretap? That's what we're using. <laughs> I don't know what the wiretap says. Have a Get look a at this. this. So now you know. Found in Miss May's hotel. Yeah. I found this in Miss May's room. Cause I was snooping around. Not looking for underwear, no. <laughs> Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May. You were tapping the victim, Miss Maya's Faye's phone, were you not? The victim, Miss Maya Faye? 
Mia. Why are you saying Maya? Mia. There we go. It's, it's like oh. I keep saying. It's like I keep saying. You you know how to read. You just don't know how to talk. Like you, the the the, le the letters go the letters go into your eyes just fine. But when you try when you try to spit them back out your mouth, that that's where problems happen. My mouth just tangles into a knot. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. You wrecked Edward, you fucking whore! What? It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely! Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? I haven't been paying attention. How far, how far along are we? Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah, I think I can! It's simple! Nani? Here's my proof. Where are we proving? that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is my attorney's badge! Isn't it just the phone again? No, it can't be. We've already used that. Um... What do we have? Okay, well, whoopsie. I read the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Once and once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. We don't need to read this here. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May. You use the wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I... I... Objection! Shut the You're fuck wrong. up. This is ridiculous. You, your honor, look at the witness's face. Does she not... Does she seem amused to you? Is she not entertained? The defense demands an answer. La, la, yeah. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! The text advanced automatically, or I didn't do that. <laughs> It's no fair of you getting up on me like that. It's a little girl. Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's it. The court sees seen the real Miss April May now. She's just a little baby. Exactly. Now, to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question! Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping or irrelevant? Gah! Saying exactly what Edward wants her to say. Miss May. You are tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he does have a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court?
Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off! Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin! You were probably thinking, I like to see her pull. I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, good. Giggle. Well, you're not the first man you thought that, and of course I can and will. Jeez, lady, keep it in your pants. At least, if, at least, at least, wait till after the trial to jump on. You can't be serious. No way. Way, I say, way. Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. And don't call me Shirley. Huh. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why? That's why. That's just when I was getting room service from the sweet bell boy. Uh, room service. Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and you have regular cold coffee. Ew. Uh, ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wink. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. But then how could she have seen anything? So, where does that so where does that leave us? It is my greatest pleasure to inform you. The witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her, how testimony, do we know that? Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No, they're going to t let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a wit. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it! Because I'm Phoenix Wright, and I'm always right. I think you sunk in quite low enough already. Objection! I object to calling the bellboy. Well, why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? Sorry. If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer. Thus she is in thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. Your Honor, he can't do that. That is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Let's just give up the Except, except the condition. Let's -a go! Alright, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Right after that, let's go and get dinner. You handsome slut. Ooh, you fell right into my trap. I activate mirror force. Uh oh. Uh, um, wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. 
guess so. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That G set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Hello, bellboy. Miss May's room service. I am the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dock, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, that's it. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. All right, I'm ready, Bob. This is it. This is real. I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now. Maya will be finished. Do finished, do I tell do you. Do 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 do. Oh, God. Business for four generations. Okay. Next one. Do you want to press this? Yeah, I mean, we might as well. We can press everything right and not lose health, right? Yeah. Okay, press it. What exactly is it you do at the hotel? Why, anything required of me, sir. I check in guests, I check out guests, I clean rooms, I make beds, I even deliver room service, sir. I check Miss May in personally. Are you always so, so prim? Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call, a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss Faye. Press. Hold it. Sorry, my time limit came out. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. H how can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... <coughs> oh. <coughs> them? Me, I remembered her quite well, sir, and her big, and her huge fake tits. Yes, what the? She asked for an iced coffee to be, to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dock, sir. Press. No, I, on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching the program on the, on the, on the telly and wished, to, and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. I brought her to her at precisely the requested time. Is there anything else to press or is that it? Well, the, well we, we just pressed this. We haven't pressed this or this yet. Okay, press uh, the next one then. Precisely nine then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir. Nine, nine o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, tee hee. I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly nine o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of night, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Press. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing man mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, she, the guest, sir, favored me with, a uh, of, an embrasse, sir. Embrasse? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. A French kiss, sir. Not a peck on the cheek. She gave me full tongue. Why would she have done that? 
I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor and huge cock, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something. We wanted the bellboy to remember her. Oh, good. There's something there. Is this, this it? <laughs> Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. I will not. It was a bit tedious. I will not. The witness, the witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest! I'm up. not giving up. No! No, no, we're giving up. Oops, my finger slipped. Wait! Please wait! Yes? Does the defense have something to add? Uh, one last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection! Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. No, no, Mr. Edward. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. So I better save my game. Essentially, yes. Imagine doing that all over again, oh god. What do I ask him about? Check-in, room service, bed making. Ooh. Check-in? Tell me about the check-in, I don't know. Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. Oh, alright. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, so even I'd have little chance with her lover there. So the rest someone else. What did he say? What did you say? What did you say? Uh, oh, uh, rather quiet. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check with another person? Objection! I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Skip off. Skip off. Skip off. Yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you did pass. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edward, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oh. You, you fool! <laughs> I've done it! I've won! <laughs> Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you bought, brought the room, the room service. You didn't see that man in the room. Oh, that's right, sir. Mm. Your Honor! We have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of the new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Mr. Anderson. And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple, it was... The bellboy. The man with Miss April. 
The man who checked in with Miss May. Dun, dun, dun. Your Honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet, May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. It's being slow. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. Whoever that man was. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Why? What a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Why is it too late? Too late? Too late to apologize. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? Miles Edge Lord. After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. You witness son of a bitch. Witness tampering. Oof. <laughs> Start amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. You're fucking whore. Get up. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Now I understood. Y yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all for t that is all today for the trial of my affair. The court is adjourned. September seventh, two twenty-four p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobbing now. One. Mr. Ryan, you are amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> you you just you just know he's rubbing the back of his neck. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty hot too. No, he's fucking no, no, huh? No, he's fucking fucked. I I don't have a crush on him. No. That face that face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sends shivers up my spine. Hmm. I mean, if you say so, I don't, I don't want to go on a date with him, no? Mm. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Am I supposed to come back alive now? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. I guess I'll have to go back to detention. But, I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? The man with Miss May, he's the key! Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning. Her charms won't work on everywhere. She got cuffs on her. She's probably like that. She's probably at attention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway. Anyway. This case is far from close. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. But I'll figure out. Because I'm always right. Because I'm Phoenix right. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. May testimony. I don't know how much good this will do to me. To do me at all now. Do me? Oh, my. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Investigation! Maya doesn't belong in detention there, and it's up to me to set her free. All that she's guilty of is passing notes in class. To her lover. 
be well, working with. That went well. Yeah. Maya's not dead yet, so that's a good sign. I think I did okay. September 7th, 311 p.m. Detention Center Visitors Room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. Weird. It's really quite moving. Oh. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. Ooh. Shut up. No, not really. There's something I want to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked, you fucker. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Mamma mia. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Well, he doesn't look very moved. Yeah, I told you, he's painted, up, he's painted on there. So, what do you wish to ask of me, then? For stars, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Ah, uh, 2001. Even just like, I feel like this is a good place to end it. Well, we well we could go for another nine minutes, but if if you'd if you'd rather get to bed, then I understand. Yeah, I think I don't know. I feel like it's just like a perfect end time. We we did just have a chapter break, so. But before we go, let's do this. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating, you fucking whore. Thanks, I noticed. Okay. And let's, let's save all that progress we just made. I mean, we made a lot of progress. So I, I guess this I guess this will be it for tonight's session, Twitch chat. Hope y'all had fun. Hope y'all will join us again. Hope y'all will join us tomorrow on her, on Starburst channel, Twitch.tv slash Twitch.tv slash S T A R B R R R for more Super Mario Galaxy. Wahoo! And I hope Stars. you'll come back here on And I hope you'll come back here on on Saturday where we where we will hopefully catch my, ca catch me as killer. Hopefully, possibly. Hope so. Bye, Twitch chat. Love y'all. Love you, Twitch chat. Bye-bye.